Our second to final speaker is somebody who probably doesn't need uh, a lengthy introduction at an event like this. It's somebody who, if you've seen the Ithaca film, you will know just how tireless this gentleman is. You will know how many time zones he's crossed, how many countries he's been to, how he doesn't need notes for his speech, I'm informed, because it's all up here now. He happens to be Julian Assange's father. Please welcome John Shipton. He's a mighty man, that David McBride, a treasure. I think we ought to start that, that thing where we have uh, people's national treasures. Certainly David McBride, Julian Assange. He's a dear friend of mine here in her wheelchair. She's come down from uh, Brisbane, Jenny. I'll say hello to Jenny. Brown University last week published a paper 4.5 million deaths in the Middle East since the invasion of Iraq. Previously they published a paper 38 million refugees. What is a refugee? It's a person whose community has been destroyed, wrecked, looking for succour. We welcome many here to Australia. Many of the people who are our supporters that I meet today are once refugees from Chile or from Greece or Iraq, Afghanistan, Yemen, Iran. To those people who organise the shattering of nation after nation, Iraq, Afghanistan, Yemen, Sudan, Libya, Syria, now Ukraine, do those people think that somehow the flux of life the urge to justice which is in every human heart, do they somehow imagine in their dreams that this will lead to world domination, that they can be hegemon standing in a river of blood? Do they imagine that we, with our undying yearning to see justice done, do they imagine somehow that this will succeed? It's impossible. Julian brought to us the means whereby we can involve ourselves in the formulation of policy through the accumulation of knowledge within ourselves, our families, our friends, our communities and our nations. A great gift that they want for some reason or other. They do not understand, one, the yearning for justice in our hearts and the other essence of being that all genius arises from the people. It doesn't come down like rain from the sky. It arises out of the hearts and culture of us. And if I could nominate some great Australians for you, have you heard of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights? Herbert Ver Evert, the author, 1948 third president of the United Nations. Have you heard of the conventions of asylum taken to the United Nations General Assembly accepted with only 16 abstentions out of 184 nations taken and put into law 
by guess who? Australia on the golf with them. Us. We have a fine tradition which we place on the shoulders of the current government and remind them that they represent us and without the genius of the populace they can do nothing but fail. They can do nothing but reap obloquy and indifference and apathy which means of course that institution of policy will fail because we don't support those policies. Really important things. Thanks for coming. We'll all bring Julian home together.